This is day number two in Colonial Williamsburg. This is our first full day. We started off with some coffee at the coffee house. We learned about uh, how they serve coffee and gossip in the coffee house. They actually gave us an option to have hot chocolate, tea, or coffee. Right. Directly behind us, up in here, is the Capitol Building. This is basically the building that you know governs this small town. We have a lot to learn today. Yeah. And uh, what are you most excited about seeing today? Um, I love seeing, like doing the coffee house tour was one of my, like I just love seeing like reenactments of how things were done. Right, the, the gentleman when you came in, the shop owner, he, you know, he t he's talked in the tongue of the time. Yes. He made it feel like, you know, he was gossiping about what's going around town with the trial going on today. Yes, we definitely want to check out the trial. Right, so they have mock trials, they have, uh, Who's speaking right now down the way? Uh, Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson is actually speaking down here, uh, giving one of his famous speeches that he gave here in Williamsburg. This is a whole long street of history, American history. So we're really excited to take you along with us and enjoy this adventure with us, I guess, yeah. right? So join our adventure as we t go on, on our own adventure. That's right. Is that right? Yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> Having some local root beer and ginger ale. I have the mm. Chowning's Tavern. And what do you, what do you have beer. there? You've got the Chowning's Tavern oh, well, root, root beer. beer. And I've got the King's Arms Tavern ginger ale. Yeah, so we're gonna actually try out one of these restaurants. We're we gonna go to the Chowning restaurant? Yeah, tavern? we're going to Chowning's now. So we're gonna go to Chowning's we're now. Hungry. We're hungry. And the lines have been really big at all these other taverns, so hopefully they've died down a little bit. So cheers. Cheers. Our lunch at Channing's, the Chowings, Channing's, what Chowing. is it? Chowing, 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 Chowing's Tavern. They actually set us down with another couple. They gave us the option to to have our own table and wait a whole lot longer, or sit with somebody else. So we elected to sit with somebody else. It's, it's kind of different. Cool. Nice people. They're from Rawlings, North Carolina. They build wood toys. Yeah, Raleigh. They're from Raleigh, yeah. and originally from California. So we were able to give them some Disney tips because they're going to Disney in June. Yep, so that's so fun. Right now we're headed off to the courthouse. We're gonna actually see a, an actual trial. Hopefully, the person that committed the murder doesn't get convicted. But if so, he's gonna be hanged. Whoa. Oh. Let's go, let's do this. Good about what we 
are we headed? The palace, the governor's palace. What are they call it a palace. I don't know, look, this is it. Yeah, right? I don't think the British, I don't think the British government's gonna give that as a, a palace. And then we're now standing in the courtyard of the governor's palace. And uh, not sure what we're gonna see here yet. But the governor was appointed by the king of England at the time. Basically to control what was going on over here in not the United States yet, but it was the Commonwealth of Virginia. Well, let's go around and take a look and see what we can see. Welcome to the governor's palace. Make sure you take a look at the then you'll go above stairs and back down to the ballroom and that's where you will exit. Thank you. Oh, look at his arm. Look at his weapons. So cool. That's a whole lot of weapons. Okay. The same marble they would use. So we went to the forest to bring back the same kind of marble. Some of the furniture, Basically, weapons over every single wall, from this wall to this wall behind me to above all the doors. This place is definitely ready to be <laughs> under siege almost. Yeah, of course not. Pretty proud. I was just talking about all like everywhere you look, there's swords and weapons just stacked up yeah. everywhere you see. Don't touch anything. Well, obviously, we shouldn't touch anything. That'd not be good. But it's like once you get like a taste of of British history in a way, without actually going to England, mm -hmm. because you know this is a royal palace. I mean, how often can I say that you're in the royal palace in the United States? Because we're not a, a monarchy here, so we don't have kings and queens. But you definitely have a feeling of what it, what a, almost a mix of English history and royalty and current American, you know, uh, colonization. So it's very cool to see that a mix between the two. Just walking in that first room and seeing all the weapons and arms in there, it's very, very impressive to see. I think they're trying to basically show the power of the English. Cocktail style, I guess you could do that. <laughs> oh. Some people are playing cards in the parlor. Okay. Very good. Well, we know that Lord Dunmore claimed to have 60 settings in silver, so that would imply at least 60 people. Hmm. All right. Well, thank you. 
All right, that was our wow. our tour of the governor's palace. Definitely. Look at that garden. It was definitely a very interesting. Uh, oh my god, I could just see myself like strolling in a big ball gown, my hands talking to, I don't know, someone. Someone. Someone important. Sure. All right, so. I'm gonna start wearing dresses and long aprons all the time. So right now we have the uh, the reenactment going on right now at five o'clock. Yeah. Right now it's five o'clock on our watches. Mickey Mouse tells me it's five o'clock. Five o one. Five o one. So we have to find our way over to the reenactment show. Maybe catch the last bit of it on the uh, way out. And that'll be pretty much wrap up our day today at the Colonial Williamsburg. Whoop, whoop. Definitely a thumbs up. And uh, tomorrow will be Jamestown. Yay. Is, is, your, is your coffee location still open right now? Uh, well, well, no, sir. It actually, it went it went out of business uh, uh, a number in, of years in, ago. In ten hours? Well, no, that was uh, well. I haven't kept a coffee house sir, in more than twenty. What, what was it? Fifteen years, nearly. Oh, okay. Uh, the eight, the years have been hard on me. So. Yeah, I see. Yes, indeed, sir. But I, when it was open, the coffee was really good. Oh, it was. I remember, sir. I, I kept it for four years of running, eh? Mm -hmm. But alas, I, I couldn't compete with the taverns. There were 16 taverns in town, you know? Right, right. And eventually, I had to, um, well, I had to fall in with the uh, common herd, as it were, and open a tavern of my own. Oh, where's your new tavern at? Well, it's just down there, sir. It's the, uh, it's the Edinburgh. Edinburgh. We'll have to go check that out. Edinburgh Castle. Are yes, you still sir. serving the same coffee? Well, we do serve a little bit of coffee, yeah. sir, but mostly now we're serving whatever liquors we can get our hands on. Sounds uh, good. Even with, better. Well, you know, with the war, sir, you know, it's very, very difficult to come by any spirits of any decent quality, you know? Mm, very but true. We have substituted the old libations like Madeira and Ararak and rum with the... Uh, with, with more colloquial fare. Uh, for example, the New Jersey cider. Okay. New Jersey cider is not so bad as everyone says. Actually, when, when sweetened with a little bit of barley and cinnamon, when you can come by it, right. it's not bad. It tastes very good, very good. Um, well, also, local local beer, build locally. My, uh, well, are you making a fine stout these days, sir? Yes, yes. A very good stout. <laughs> Sounds good. And you could make a toddy out of, out of corn liquor and well water, which uh, smells like death, but uh, will put you in a good humor. Right, very well. Yes, indeed. Well, thank you so much. We'll try out your tavern. Well, I thank you, sir. Thank you much. Go Take care, you, sir.